Picture this, a world colored in sepia tones, where the golden age of Hollywood reigns supreme. In the midst of a war-torn era, a single glimpse at a movie screen brought a slice of glamour, a breath of beauty, and a swirl of emotions. Amidst this backdrop emerges a name that ignited screens and captured hearts Betty Grable. Even as time's embrace grows stronger, there's an undeniable magic in recalling those moments when Betty's radiant smile first danced across your consciousness. Perhaps it was the hushed whispers of your grandparents, reminiscing about her charm. Or maybe you stumbled upon a faded photograph tucked away in an old family album, invoking nostalgia for an era you never knew. Whether it was through stories or images, Betty Grable's aura has woven itself into the tapestry of our memories. And so, as the curtains of memory draw back, let's journey together through the corridors of time, peeling back the layers to uncover the lesser-known facets of Betty's life and career. From her iconic pin-up posters that adorn countless lockers to her dazzling performances on the silver screen, there's more to this starlet than meets the eye. Did you know that she once held the title of Hollywood's highest paid woman? Or that her legs were famously insured for a million dollars? These intriguing tidbits offer a fresh lens through which to appreciate the woman who graced the covers of magazines and the hearts of millions. So, let's delve into these captivating nuggets of history, shall we? Let the anecdotes and trivia about Betty Grable unfold like frames of a classic movie, each revealing a new facet of her captivating journey. From her early days as a precocious performer to her enduring influence on entertainment and beyond, get ready to be transported back to an era where glamour knew no bounds. It's time to celebrate the life and legacy of a true Hollywood icon. Betty Grable, a star of many talents and triumphs in the golden era of Hollywood, few names shone as brightly as Betty Grable's. Her multifaceted career boasted successes that left an indelible mark on both cinema and pop culture. Among her noteworthy moments, one stands out, her role in How to Marry a Millionaire, a film where art and reality intertwined. Grable's character slyly alluded to her real-life marriage to Harry James while a radio played Y'all Never Know, a heartrending tune from Hello Frisco, Hello, originally sung by Alice Faye and an Oscar winner for Best Song. The silver screen often blurs the line between fiction and truth, and in this instance, Grable's personal life harmonized with her on-screen presence. Beyond her cinematic endeavors, Grable's financial journey also drew attention. In an unexpected turn, she found herself doing Playdex 18-hour shorty commercials during the 1960s. The iconic pin-up pose that had once captured hearts became a marketing tool, driven by financial necessity. Rumors whispered that her husband's extravagant spending had depleted her savings, prompting her to engage in a venture that showcased both her enduring beauty and her pragmatism. The annals of financial history also herald Betty Grable's astonishing achievements. In the years 1946 to 47, a time when women's empowerment was gaining momentum, the U.S. Treasury Department designated her as the highest paid woman in America. The figures spoke volumes, an impressive $300,000 annual income. Her earnings surpassed societal norms, a testament to her talent, popularity, and the shifting tides of gender dynamics. Betty Grable's legacy is a tapestry woven with diverse threads, from her cinematic charisma and personal challenges to her financial feats that resonated with an evolving America. Her name continues to evoke an era of glamour and tenacity, reminding us that the stars we adore are often more multifaceted than they first appear. Betty Grable, a glamorous icon of Hollywood's golden era during the 1940s, Betty Grable illuminated the silver screen becoming one of the highest paid women globally, with a reported annual income of $300,000. Her films, showcased by 20th Century Fox, achieved unparalleled success, amassing a staggering $15 million in earnings. Grable's allure was undeniable, capturing the hearts of audiences and critics alike. Her fame extended beyond the cinema as she clinched the coveted title of Best Figure of 1941. In an iconic pin-up portrait, Grable sported an ankle bracelet, a romantic gift from her suitor, George Raft. This image etched itself into the cultural fabric, solidifying her as a symbol of beauty and grace. Interestingly, Grable's life also found its way onto the screen. Jane Mansfield portrayed her in the biographical film Spin of a Coin in 1961. Remarkably, during that time, Grable's persona remained outside the public domain. 
Despite this challenge, her legacy persisted, a testament to her enduring influence. Betty Grable's legacy is undeniable. Her illustrious earnings, unforgettable pin-up image, and even her portrayal in Spin of a Coin underscore her lasting impact on entertainment and culture. Even now, her name evokes the glamour and magic of Hollywood's golden era. era, 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 era. Betty Grable's legacy, a missed opportunity in Hollywood's glare Betty Grable, the vivacious Hollywood star whose talents lit up the silver screen during the golden age of cinema, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Amidst her illustrious career, one pivotal moment stands out, her consideration for the iconic role of Adelaide in Guys and Dolls. Samuel Goldwyn, the renowned film producer, saw in Grable the potential to bring the character to life with her charisma and charm. Yet, fate took an unexpected turn. Intriguingly, Grable's faithful companion, her dog, played an unforeseen role in altering the course of cinematic history. When her canine companion suffered a broken leg, Grable found herself compelled to cancel a crucial appointment with Goldwyn. This twist of fate left Goldwyn miffed, prompting him to pivot and cast former 20th Century Fox co-worker Vivian Blaine in the role of Adelaide instead. The decision showcased the delicate balance between personal circumstances and Hollywood's unforgiving schedule. Betty Grable's career was a constellation of shining moments, from her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, commemorated on February 8, 1960, at 6525 Hollywood Boulevard, to her appearance alongside Dick Hames as presenters at the 1972 Academy Awards ceremony. However, the tale of her near participation in Guys and Dolls encapsulates the capricious nature of the industry she graced. In the realm of what could have been, Betty Grable's name is etched alongside those who, despite their luminous talents, encountered the whims of fate. The entertainment world's delicate dance between opportunity and circumstance, exemplified by Grable's mischance at Guys and Dolls, remains a reminder that even the brightest stars must navigate the unexpected. 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 Betty Grable, the golden legs that made history Betty Grable, the iconic Hollywood star, etched her name in history not only for her immense talent but also for intriguing connections. As one of the original Goldwyn girls, Grable shared the limelight with luminaries like Lucille Ball, Virginia Bruce, and Dvorak, and Paulette Goddard. This esteemed group of entertainers laid the foundation for their dazzling careers, leaving an indelible mark on the golden age of cinema. However, Grable's influence extended beyond the silver screen. Her stepson, Tim James, embarked on a distinct path as an attorney, collaborating with the then Attorney General of Texas. James played a pivotal role in luring television personality Marvin Zindler to investigate the infamous chicken ranch brothel in La Grange, Texas. The subsequent closure of the establishment served as the inspiration for the renowned Broadway and cinematic production, The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, immortalizing the scandalous tale in popular culture. In an era where glamour and elegance reigned supreme, Grable's assets took center stage literally. During the late 1940s, 20th Century Fox made an audacious move by insuring her legs with Lloyds of London for a staggering $250,000. The alluring charm of her legs, often showcased in elaborate musical numbers and eye-catching costumes, became a symbol of the era's opulence and fascination with Hollywood beauty. Betty Grable's legacy endures, woven into the fabric of entertainment history. Her journey from a Goldwyn girl to a silver screen sensation, coupled with her familial connections that influenced cultural phenomena, cemented her status as an icon. The glitz, the scandal, and the audacity of ensuring her legs all elements that continue to captivate the imagination of those who delve into the captivating world of classic cinema. 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 Betty Grable, from screen to stage in motherhood Betty Grable, the iconic actress of Hollywood's golden era, charmed audiences not only with her dazzling beauty and exceptional acting, but also with her lesser-known endeavors. Amidst her illustrious career, Grable's personal life and early musical pursuits emerge as captivating facets of her legacy. In a surprising twist, Grable's talents extended beyond acting. Early in her journey, she lent her voice to the melodies of the Ted Fiorito Orchestra. However, she would humorously remark, the only trouble was I couldn't sing, reflecting her candid self-awareness. Beyond her musical interludes, Grable's personal life bore its own anecdotes. 
A notable chapter in her journey was her marriage to the renowned trumpeter Harry James. The couple welcomed two daughters into their world, Victoria Elizabeth James and Jessica James. Victoria was born on March 3, 1944, while Jessica followed on May 20, 1949, albeit tragically passing away on March 20, 2016. The story of motherhood for Grable was marked by challenging decisions. She underwent cesarean sections for the birth of her daughters, and while she desired a larger family, medical counsel steered her away from pursuing a third operation. This intimate glimpse into her life underscores the complexities she navigated beyond the spotlight. Grable's journey, however, began long before her Hollywood fame. Her film debut occurred at a mere 13 years old in the 1930 to 20th century Fox production Let's Go Places. A fascinating twist adds intrigue to her debut as she fibbed about her age, asserting she was 15. This small twist of fate set her on a trajectory towards stardom, eventually becoming a beloved household name. Betty Grable's narrative encompasses far more than the silver screen. Her early musical endeavors, the joys and struggles of motherhood, and the stories of her youthful deceit collectively contribute to the mosaic of her legacy. As we remember the luminous actress, we are reminded that her life was a tapestry woven with diverse threads, each adding depth to her enduring charm. As we bid adieu to this exploration through the dazzling tapestry of Betty Grable's cinematic legacy, one cannot help but be swept away by the timeless allure she brought to the silver screen. The flickering images, now etched in our collective memory, have woven a connection between past and present, drawing us into a world where dreams transcended reality. Betty Grable, with her indelible charm and vivacious spirit, danced her way into hearts, leaving an imprint that remains vivid in the corridors of nostalgia. Her performances were not mere scenes played out, but windows to an era of grace and elegance, a reminder that every twirl, every smile, was a brushstroke on the canvas of entertainment history. And now, dear reader, it's your turn to share in this captivating journey. What moments of Betty's magic have resonated with your soul? What memories have you carried, tucked away like cherished keepsakes from her cinematic treasure trove? Your connection, your thoughts, are the threads that weave this intricate tapestry of appreciation. As the curtains draw close on this narrative, let us take a moment to reflect on the profound impact Betty Grable has had on the world of entertainment. Her radiant spirit illuminated screens and lives alike, proving that the enchantment of art knows no bounds. With utmost gratitude, we extend our thanks to you for embarking on this voyage through the iridescent world of Betty Grable. Your time and interest have enriched this journey, and your reflections are the harmonious notes that linger in the air, celebrating an icon who continues to inspire. Until we cross paths again on our next odyssey into the realms of fascination, remember that every story shared, every sentiment expressed, becomes a part of the legacy Betty Grable's legacy. Appreciatively.